everybody. This time around the question is, is it okay to say no? And the answer of course is absolutely not. I get where this question might uh, might be coming from because I think sometimes we have this idea that being spiritual or being a life-affirming person means affirming everything in life. The idea that, that if I'm spiritual enough, I can just say yes to everything. And if I'm in the flow and if I'm really cool and really loving and really you name it, I just say yes to people. Maybe you have been the recipient of a spiritual guilt trip where somebody says, you know, if you were more spiritual and more open and more loving, you'd let me continue to abuse you or, or take advantage of you, that kind of a thing. I bet you've heard that before. Being spiritual, being heroic, being a good person doesn't just mean saying yes to every idiotic thing that comes down the path. You know that instinctively. You know because you've had to say no to some pretty crazy things in your life. And you know it because when you think about every hero story, the hero is not the pushover who just agrees to everything. The hero is almost always, maybe always, the person who says, no, this cannot continue. This aggression will not stand, man. This, this uh, injustice, this abuse, this whatever it is, we're going to have to find a different way. No. The hero is often someone who starts with no. When you think about the heroes in the Bible, for example, a lot of times they're shepherds, and the shepherd's job is to protect and to keep out sometimes. They're judges, which, which <laughs> implies a certain amount of yes and no. They're kings, they're leaders who have to make decisions. You know the old saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Being able to say yes to something true sometimes means having to say no to something that isn't true. That's just kind of the deal. To put it another way, before you build up, a lot of time you have to have your demo day. Before you build up, a lot of times you have to tear down. Think about your life. There may very well be things that you have to unlearn, old behaviors that you have to quit doing, old things that you used to think were okay, old, I don't know, racist jokes, silly ideas, limited conceptions about who and what you are. And before you can grow, you have to learn how to say no to those things. Because here's the deal. God is infinite. The universe goes on forever and ever. That's just the deal. But there is a finite amount of space between your ears. There's only so much room in that wonderful heart of yours. There's only so many hours in the day. And that means if you can't let go of some things that are bad, you're going to have to make do with less things that are good. It's just a question of how much room you have. You've got to tear down before you build up. And boys and girls, that means saying no sometimes. There's really good things about saying no. Now, I don't want you to be a no person who automatically rejects and who is inherently negative, but you know that that's not what I mean. No can be very healthy. The question, as always, is where is your no coming from? Because as you've heard me say many, many times now, the universe does not speak English. God does not speak English. It's not about the words that you say. The universe doesn't speak English. The universe speaks intention, right? You can learn all of the great affirmations and memorize the books, but if you've got doubt and fear in your heart, that's what's going into your prayer time, for example. So the question is not the word no or yes, as much as it is the intention, the motivation. If you feel led to say no, which again can be perfectly valid, you have to ask yourself, where am I saying no from? What's my motivation? What's my intention? Are you saying no because you're afraid? Are you saying no because you don't want to get out of your comfort zone? Well, that's something to look at because we're supposed to face our fear with faith. We're supposed to go out of our comfort zone with the courage that comes from knowing who we are and all of that. Or am I saying no because my heart knows that there's a healthier way, that this is not okay, this whatever it is? Am I saying no because it is spiritually healthy and it's going to produce growth? Or am I just saying no because I want to keep my ego safe? And if you really think about it, and if you really practice it, and sometimes it does take practice. Practice your silence in the prayer time. Practice learning how to listen to your heart. But your heart knows when to say yes and when to say no. Is it okay to say no? Of course it is, as long as you're saying it with love.
So thank you for sending in these loving questions. I, I love what I'm getting from you guys. Thank you so much for the incredible comments, incredible feedback. Keep them coming. You can email me. You can find me on social media. You can Instagram or tweet with the hashtag AskDieter. As you know, I'll be watching. You can go to my website, waypastok.com, and post a comment. And I want to remind everybody that my new book, Meaning Fulfilled, is available now on Amazon. So go to my website, waypastok.com, and there's a book section where you can find out how to get a copy of my new book. I promise it's going to change things for you. Thanks for taking a look at that. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and most of all, for sharing. You got this.